What are the benefits of vitamin E? This video is specially intended for the general public, not for the medical students because this lecture is not about the biochemistry of the vitamin E, rather than its uses and how it can be used mainly for the general public. So vitamin E is an antioxidant. We know this. It may help to protect the cells of the body from oxidative damages, mainly the free radicals, whatever they are produced inside the cell because of the normal metabolic cycles which are taking place inside the cell. So this essential nutrient occurs naturally in many foods. It's also available in dietary supplements. Sometimes it's in processed foods also. So like vitamin A, vitamin D and vitamin K, vitamin E is also a fat soluble vitamin, which means our body stores and uses whenever it is needed. The term vitamin E describes eight types of compounds, which means we have eight different types of vitamin E which are called as vitamins of vitamin E. But out of all, alpha tocopherol is the most active one in humans and which is biologically active form we can say. And vitamin E is responsible for a longer cell life. So what do you mean by this? You have probably seen rust on your bike or on car. What is this rust? This rust is mainly because of oxidative damage of your metal. A similar process of oxidation and accelerated aging takes place in our body when cells are exposed to the molecules called as free radicals. And these free radicals are continuously produced as a normal metabolic cycle and normal metabolic processes. But these free radicals weaken and break down healthy cells. So these molecules like free radicals also contribute to the heart disease as well as cancer. And these free radicals form as a result of the normal body processes as I already mentioned. And they cause damage that shortens the lifespan of the cell, which means the cell is aging pretty rapidly. So to prevent all these things, God has created a great molecule called as vitamin E which is a powerful antioxidant that may help to reduce free radical damage and slow the aging process of the cells. This is not just like as I'm stating just like that. It is approved by the National Institute of Health. And also vitamin E is responsible for extra protection. What do you mean by extra protection? From what? From where? So the vitamin E may help people with higher environmental or lifestyle risk factors like free radicals, right? Toxicity. From where these free radicals are coming other than your diet, other than your normal metabolic processes, from cigarette smoking, exposure to the air pollution because of urbanization and high exposure to the ultraviolet rays from the sunlight also develops free radicals in the body. So this vitamin E helps to repair the damaged cells with all these things. It will try its best. But it is difficult to consume too much of vitamin E in your regular diet. It's neither risky nor harmful to obtain vitamin E from food sources. So many are taking vitamin E supplements. So what will be the recommendations from the guidelines? So do not go overboard. What does that mean? While overdosing on food based vitamin E is unlikely, but the National Institute of Health reports that taking high doses of this vitamin in form of supplements can cause serious side effects. One of the serious side effects is an increased risk of hemorrhagic stroke. That is the reason. Always believe your doctor or a healthcare professional or a nutritionist, dietitian who are licensed to recommend any type of a molecule to use. First of all, try to assess, go to the center, ask your physician, ask your dietitian, ask that whether vitamin E is required for you or not. 
If it is, your physician will tell you whether you have to take supplements or from the dietary sources and what should be the dosage. But I want to tell you here that dosages, even if you are taking, dosages should not increase 1000 international units per day if you are using synthetic supplements. The recommended daily allowance is approximately 15 milligrams. So that is what you should know about the dosages of the vitamin E. And what are the different ways to get your vitamin E from the food sources? So you can see the complete list here. I don't want to read it out. You can pause your screen and read the list. I want to talk about a sentence called as extra vitamin E. What is it? One of the easy way to get enough vitamin E in your diet is to add tablespoon of wheat germ oil to the recipe. Alternatively, you can also snack on sunflower seeds which are good sources of vitamin E because these will provide over approximately 20 milligrams of vitamin E which is more than a full day's requirement. So make a spinach salad and toss in some hazelnuts to get a crunchy boost of vitamin E. And getting creative will also help you to reap many of the benefits of vitamin E in your diet. Thank you.